3, 2, 1, let's do this! Hi, my name is Monica Cho and on this channel we talk about fragrances, so if you're interested in that topic, press that subscribe button and let's get on with today's video. Before I forget, I'll link all the fragrances I talk about in the video in the description bar below. Today we're going to talk about five instances where you should never wear perfume. To me, being a fragrance lover is as much about wearing the fragrance that you love as it is about not wearing it when it's not appropriate. I think it's really really important because fragrances are so closely attached to the memories we create. We don't want to make bad memories when wearing certain fragrances because that would just ruin your well, and my fragrances, everybody fragrance journey, really. First instance that I'm going to recall is don't wear your fragrance on the road that is a spiral. If you know you're going on a road trip, you're all packed and you're thinking, which fragrance should I spray today? And you're like, oh, let's just dose myself in, a, in this fragrance. And then you realize that you're going on a road that goes literally around and round and round and round and round. That is not a good idea. I'll tell you why. I have experienced this, sadly, when wearing Miss Dior Cherie, the old formulation, the old version. I love that fragrance. It was one of my first fragrances that I purchased from my first job that I had. I was so proud to have such an expensive fragrance to me at that time. It was just the most luxurious thing ever. And then I went to Norway and I went on a trip and I didn't realize what the road would be like. But let me tell you, in Norwegian mountains, the roads are crazy. And we went, I forgot what it was, maybe it was Trollstigen. It was this really, really famous road in Norway that literally goes round and round and round for ages. It's so steep and I got so nauseous, so sick that I could not wear this fragrance anymore. Every time I wore it, I tried wearing it afterwards, but I would, I, I just could not. It was so awful. It reminded me of being physically sick, being nauseous. It was this disgusting and still to this day I don't own it I actually sold mine I just can't smell it anywhere because when I smell it it just makes me really really not feel very well so don't do that to yourself always know where you're going when <laughs> you're wearing the fragrance that you love because you might just spoil this fragrance the second instance where you should never wear fragrance that is especially strong is when you're going for a hospital visit. And this also I experienced firsthand. I went for an x-ray about two weeks ago. I was poorly. And as I was sitting there waiting for an x-ray, this whiff, this humongous cloud of alien perfume hit me. And I just thought to myself, I, you know when you smell something and you just, your whole body is like, what is wrong? And I instantly recognized that it was alien. And I just thought, who wears alien, alien perfume, which is really, really strong. It should be, in my opinion, reserved for going out because it's so strong. It is very distinctive kind of fragrance. It's not a nicey, nicey fragrance that you wear to a hospital. It's kind of offensive almost like everybody will smell you and what if somebody is not feeling well and smells you i'm all for wearing what you like but at the same time i feel like the you have to think about a situation you're going into and i feel like that was such a wrong situation to use alien and i like alien but at that time i felt ill loads of people around me felt really ill and this person just walked in smelling like death so don't wear strong, especially strong fragrances to your hospital visits or when you're going and visiting somebody. Another example is when you're visiting a newborn child and their mother, you should not wear strong fragrance. That can be offensive to the mother. That can be a bit harmful to the little kid with such sensitive skin. So definitely don't wear fragrance. <laughs> 
to those occasions. I think it's a good time to also tell you that I have a podcast. So all this content is on my podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and also Google Podcasts. So if you're interested in just hearing me sometimes because it's more convenient for you, find the link down the description bar. And if you're listening to me, thank you so much for listening because I got just today, I got my first listener. So welcome and thank you for subscribing to my podcast. The third instance when you should never wear perfume is when you're sick. So for me, I never wear perfume or fragrance when I'm ill. For example, two weeks ago, I was very ill. I had done slightest for three weeks. It was a painfully long three weeks and I did not wear any fragrance at that time because enough said I felt unwell and also when you feel unwell you don't want to then associate a scent with a memory of being ill because to me at least and I think to many of you you'll find that scents are extremely powerful they're almost like a time machine they'll transport you back and especially if your memory is very distinct if you're very ill it will attach the scent will attach to that memory and you will just ruin a perfectly good scent for yourself and you won't be able to wear it the same. A good tip for this kind of thing is try wearing it and try breaking through the memory of having that scent and that memory together. But in my experience, I wasn't able to do that with some of my fragrances when I worn them in a, at the wrong time or when I was sick, I wasn't able to separate them from the memory. So just be careful i want the best for you and tell me if you agree with me actually also smash that like button because it really lets me know that you like watching these videos and you want me to make more number four i've got another little story this is kind of like a story time i feel like so the fourth occasion where you should never 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 wear perfume is when you're going swimming especially when you're going swimming in a swimming pool. And why I know about this so, so well is because I used to be a lifeguard. And let me tell you that nobody, nobody likes a strong smelling. And I have to say it was mostly, no, exclusively males, men who did that. I just really want to, I wanted to read what was in their mind, but we would get, especially this one guy, he was about six year old. He would come every single week to do his rounds of swimming up and down, up and down. And before he even came into the room where the swimming pool was, you could smell him. I'm not kidding you. His cologne was so, so strong and he must have just applied it every time you know he came to the swimming pool he must have just like put on his swimsuit and then sprayed it because it was the the opening was so strong i couldn't breathe nobody could breathe if i was in the water and sometimes i had to be in the water for like exercise and stuff that we had to practice some of our drills uh, for lifeguarding you could taste the cologne you could taste and you know a swimming pool there's a lot of water but somehow you could still taste the cologne in the water and it was disgusting from the side of being somebody in the water and also from the side of being a lifeguard and knowing what you shouldn't do when you go swimming i'm telling you it's not the right place to spray your cologne you your cologne will go into the water there's young kids in the water alcohol and all the chemicals they're not the best for gentle gentle kids sensitive skin not everybody has to smell you like with fragrance it's so personal if you're going to such a public space as the swimming pool don't overdo it okay you can give yourself one little spray maybe i wouldn't do that even but if you have to one little spray will be just enough tell me if you've ever, if you have ever experienced such a story to me it just makes me feel really bad for the guy because he just probably wanted to smell good but he's making everybody's life a bit harder number five and the final point is you should never wear a fragrance to a funeral i don't think 
Mm-hmm. Hello. And it is quite a serious topic, but in my opinion, you shouldn't really do that for yourself, one, because you don't want to, again, associate the memory with a scent that you may like. Another thing is that you can evoke a memory. You don't know if maybe the person that died wore this fragrance that you're wearing. Maybe they did and you can make somebody feel really, really horrible. It's not a place where you should be smelt and complimented on your fragrance not necessarily that is not the intended purpose of <laughs> such a gathering it is just to be respectful and i think that you know if you can afford not to wear fragrance one day in your life i think it should be a funeral uh, because if you're going to a funeral you're not there to impress people you're just to give your respect and i have been in situations where I've smelled somebody really, really strong, like somebody wearing black orchid, which is just not appropriate in my opinion. And again, they are my opinions. Maybe that person just wanted to feel good. Maybe they were trying to pick themselves up and make themselves feel better because fragrances do that to people too. But I think it's just more respectful to not wear it and to be mindful of others in this kind of situation. Tell me, guys what you think of these points i feel like there will be some people hating me massively but you know they're just my opinions and after all we all do what we want really so we can just have this as a piece of like conversational uh content and just to discuss not not only when to wear perfume uh but also when not to wear it remember if you love it you can wear it and yes even if it's in one of the situations that I mentioned. If you're desperate and you love it, just wear it. After all, everybody will just go home at the end of the day and probably not remember what you wore that day. Unless it's me, I will definitely remember. And I will judge you for it. Thank you again for my first 2K. We did it together. I have a community tab now, so I'll be conversing with you on there too from time to time, asking you which videos you'd like. If you want your comment read, press that subscribe button and the notification bell and comment and I will read your comment. This comment is from Wilfi Der Fleef, I think. Curious about your opinion of Heidi Slimane's uh, recent fragrances at Celine for the Haute Haute Parfumerie uh, collection. So I'll answer that. I'm actually really, really excited for this collection. I have been stalking them on Instagram, being like asking them, when is it available? Where is it available? I don't know where I can smell them. I'm going to find out and I'm going to tell you guys, but I am really excited for this and I will get to the bottom of it. I post every Monday and Friday if you're interested in watching my videos. I love you guys and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!